Hello learners, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I welcome you all to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to go through another SQL interview question asked by the company TCS. So let's move on. This is the question where, that you can see in front of your screen. Let's read out the question first. The question says, write an SQL query to display the records with three or more than three rows with consecutive IDs and the number of the people is greater than or equal to 100 for each. Return the result table ordered by visit date in ascending order. So what exactly we need to do is we need to retrieve the records which have three or more consecutive IDs and also for those consecutive IDs, the corresponding number of people should be greater than or equal to 100. And also we need to return this table, the result table ordered by the column visit underscore date. Okay, so let's move ahead and see what is the sample input. So this is the sample input in our case. We have a table which is named as stadium. It has three columns. First is ID, then the visit underscore date and the people. In ID, we have just the ID number which corresponds to each day. And in the date column, we have the date on which the people have visited. And finally, we have the number of people who have visited on a particular date. As you can see on the 1st of January, the stadium was visited by 10 people. Similarly, on 2nd of January, the stadium was visited by 109 people and so on. All the values have been given. From this values, we need to retrieve the consecutive rows, which are 3 or more than 3, for which the number of people is uh, greater than 100 or equal to 100. Let's see what the sample output looks like. And as you can see, we have four rows, which are with ID 5, 6, 7, and 8. And if you observe, the number of people in this case is also greater than 100, 145, 1455. So the number of people are greater than 100. And also the IDs are uh, consecutive, which are three and more than three. Like it is four. Four consecutive rows have been retrieved, which are obviously greater than three. So let's see what is the approach to solve this problem. We will be solving this problem on the MySQL workbench as we do it uh, frequently. And let's begin by first creating the database. So create database, data underscore five, and use this database. Check if the database has been created. Yes, the database has been created. Next step, obviously, is to create the table and insert records into it. This is the code which I'll be using for creating the table. We are creating the table with three columns, ID, visit date, and number of people. While creating table, be careful while using the proper data types for each table. Yes, so this is the table that we have created. It has eight rows into it. See, from ID 1 to 8, we have inserted the records and number of people are also inserted. So after seeing the table, let's move ahead with the solution. Okay, I'll first write the query and then we'll explain it to you. Select distinct. Like distinct S one dot star from stadium S one join stadium S two again join stadium S three. 
So you must have been understood that what we are doing is we are joining three copies of the stadium table. Our table name is stadium. So first we are creating three copies which are S1, S2 and S3 and we are joining these three copies. Okay. And also we are selecting the distinct columns from the S1 table. Your S1 dot star means all the records from S1 table. Star indicates all and S1 is the first copy of stadium table. Next, when we join any of the tables, we also need to specify that on which columns we need to join the table. So we will do it by using the on keyword. On, we will be specifying some, uh, some conditions that need to be satisfied while joining the tables. And these are the conditions. First, which is S1.ID equals s2.id minus 1 and s1.id equals s3.id minus 2. Okay, s1.id is nothing but the id column of first table. S2, s2.id is the id column of the s2 copy of stadium. Next, or s3.id equals s1 dot id minus 1 and s3 dot id equals s2 dot id minus 2. Okay, we, are, we will be specifying all possibility of these conditions uh, which are mentioned in this bracket. Okay, so that none of the possibility is missed and we do not get any wrong information. s3 dot id equals s2 dot id minus 1 and s3.id equals s1.id minus 2. So if you observe properly, what we have done is we have applied uh, differences of 1 and 2 on the various columns by applying different possibilities. First, we have considered that the id of s1 is uh, 1 less than the id of s2. Correct? And the id of s1 is also one or two less than the id of s3 and if both these conditions are satisfied then only we consider this bracket to be true and also only one of these three brackets should be true for the data to be retrieved these three brackets contain the keyword or between them so that is the reason only one of these three should be true to obtain the uh, data and why this uh, part has been done is because we need consecutive rows, okay? Only the values that have consecutive IDs. And why only minus 1 and minus 2? Because in our question, we need uh, numbers who have uh, consecutive numbers which are 3 or more than 3. So if we consider a number, suppose 3. So if we want to be consecutive number as 3, then it will need one number above one number below okay but we need three or more than three so the possibility is either we have a one number below so these will be one above two below which means three minus one three plus two okay and another possibility is that there could be two numbers above and one number below these are two numbers above and one number below, which means 3 minus 2 and 3 plus 1. Okay, so that is why we consider the differences as 1 and 2. If we had been asked to find out the records which have uh, consecutive numbers as 4 or greater than 4, then these differences would be minus 2 and minus 2. If it, it would be 5 or greater than 5, then we had used minus 2 and minus 3. Okay. So this is the reason that we have used the differences as 1 and minus 2 as 1 and 2 because only these conditions can be satisfied while using the differences as 1 and 2 because if the consecutive numbers are to be 3 or greater than 3 then these are the only possibilities that a number can have one number above it, two number below it or two number above it and one number below it. Okay, so now after we get the consecutive rows, our second condition is in the question is that 
the number of people is greater than or equal to 100 so simply we use the where clause to find out the number of people which are greater than or equal to 100 so we will be applying this condition to all the three tables okay and joining it with and <coughs> s2 dot people greater than or equal to 100 and also s3 dot people is greater than equal to 100 and our last last condition is in the question is return the result table ordered by visit date in ascending order so simply we will be using the keyword order by and passing the column as visit date visit underscore date put the semicolon first let's see uh, what data we have retrieved so yes we have got the data as same as given in the sample output which is uh, id numbers 5 6 7 and 8 so what we have done in this question is that we have first created three copies of the stadium table s1 s2 s3 we have joined them based on these three conditions of the columns while you by using these conditions we get the consecutive rows okay and then on these consecutive rows we have only selected the rows which have number of people as greater than or equal to 100. And finally, we have ordered the result based on the visit date column. And from all these, we have only selected the distinct records. Okay, so I hope you've understood this solution. Keep practicing more and more questions on SQL. And also, if you want us to solve any of your questions, then you can put it down in the comment box. We will surely try to solve that question and give you the solution. Also, if you like the video, do share it with your friends and also subscribe the channel as we will be putting more and more SQL interview questions in the SQL playlist. So uh, keep watching our videos. Thank you.